We all say and know that we need to do things to improve the patient's experience, but just telling people to do that is not going to enable them to do it. But this incorporated the video element rather than just the telling the story element. And it got the conversation between patients and staff started in a different way. I think there's some anxiety that when you start involving patients, they're going to be asking for the earth. Now, in my experience, that isn't what happens. People are quite pragmatic and they realise that there's limited resources, but they also help us to think in quite a different way within limited resources. But staff have a chance to say, actually, that's not going to be possible because there are clinical governance issues or there's a restriction on funding around that, those sorts of things. We don't, as healthcare professionals, very often get the opportunity to get that real honest, open, constructive feedback about services and have that opportunity to talk in an open forum with patients about okay we're hearing what you're telling us and you're right that's not right so what how do we move forward together what do you think we need to do to make it better we're so um, caught up in in our system we've, we've created for ourselves over for, for uh, whatever reason this system exists and we then compensate to make the system work and actually patients come in and say well why 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 and you look at it actually and there's no reason why often, it's just, um, it's just because we just built this system because it seems to work at the time and it actually doesn't work for us or for the patient. I think one of the things that was really good about patients being involved as well as staff is that you get to see both sides in a way that you can only do when you bring those two groups together. Um, I think you could have a survey that you tick, I've done lots of surveys, I don't really feel anything's happening necessarily with those surveys. I've got no idea. I, I often feel when I look at it that my experience isn't reflected on there. I, I want to tick a box that's not there. And this gave patients a chance to say what was actually happening. And sometimes that was a surprise to staff. I've found it immensely enjoyable. I think the opportunity to work with patients, at times the ideas that they came up with, their solutions and their thoughts about, about how things could be resolved were it's so straightforward. In the working group we had, I know there were times when you know, a, a staff member would think things were happening, but as a patient you know it's not happening. And I don't think without that kind of dialogue or without people being free to speak, you would hear those things. I don't think that sort of communication between you know, the users, for want of a better word, and the people who are providing the service, I, I just don't think that would have happened. We've heard things that have been difficult to hear about services, but we needed to hear them and things needed to change in some areas of, of, of the service and we shouldn't be put off from hearing that. In, in today's NHS we want to move towards patient-centred services, we want a world-class vision for our cancer centre here at Guy's and St Thomas's. World-class means patient involvement and meeting patient needs. This is how we achieve it.